In order to use your electric item, it consumes a certain number of watts or amps. The amount of electricity it consumes depends on the type of item you're using. For example, if you were using a radio, it might only consume 25 watts. While on the other hand, if you were using a hair dryer, it might consume almost up to 1500 watts. With the case of the hair dryer, items that generate heat will typically need more electricity, and that means their wattage consumption is higher, like with a microwave or a toaster. Luckily, your product should have information telling you how many watts it requires to work, which you can find in the product's manual and or on a label. In some cases, you're only going to be able to find information on the amps required to use the product, which is fine, and it's just a simple equation to convert to watts. On your product, it'll say the voltage, which will either be 110 volts or 220 volts. And let's say, for example, it says 110 volts and 10 amps. Then you just multiply 110 by 10 to get 1,100 watts. In addition, we suggest you buy a voltage converter with a 25 to 30 percent higher wattage capability. Now you know how many watts your product needs to function. For more information on watts, amps, or voltage conversion, please visit our site at 110220volts.com where you can ask those questions and also place your order online. Thank you.